Hi pal set, it's time again to check in with our possum skull cleaning project. As you'll remember, the skull is coming out of its second soak in ammonia, intended to degrease it. Let's rig up our little improvised strainer so as not to lose any of the little pieces. Two soaks is it for the degreasing stage so we can rinse out the soaking bowl. We'll also fill another pail partway with water in which to rinse the skull parts. This project is turning out to require more buckets than your mother at KFC. I'm only kidding. I don't know your mother. Her dietary habits are none of my business. But I do hope she's taking good care of herself. Obesity is a serious problem. Rinsing the skull dislodges a little more tissue and gunk from inside the cranium. That's kind of gross. We'll flush it as best we can, but there's a limit to how clean it's gonna get. I mean, it's not like anybody's gonna be drinking Mai Tais out of this thing. Awesome as that is to imagine. At last, we're moving to the bleaching stage. Here, we'll soak the pieces in hydrogen peroxide in hopes of brightening up the color a little bit. Not sure just how bone white we're gonna be able to get it, given that we started with such an old and weathered specimen, but we'll see when we pull it out in a day or two. That's a day or two in real time. To see what happens, you, of course, are gonna have to wait until next week's installment of the Possum Head Chronicles. 